Let's learn about there is and there are. Tell me about your new condo, John. Well, there are two swimming pools, there's a gym, there's a rooftop patio, and there are six elevators. Wow, that sounds really nice. How did John tell his friend about his condo? He used the expression, there is and there are. We use there is and there are to say or write about things we can see or we can't see, to say things exist or don't exist. So, with singular count nouns, singular remember means one, we use there is or there isn't. There is a fireplace in my condo. There is a rooftop patio in my building. There isn't a bus stop near my condo. There isn't an indoor swimming pool. Fireplace, rooftop patio, bus stop, indoor swimming pool is a singular count noun. So we say there is or there isn't. Now, with non-count nouns, we also use there is, there isn't, because all non-count nouns are singular. So we say, there is some food in the fridge. There isn't any orange juice in the fridge. Food, orange juice, non-count nouns. Now with plural count nouns, plural means two or more, we use there are or there aren't. There are many windows in my condo. There are new appliances. There aren't a lot of closets. There aren't many restaurants near my condo. Windows, appliances, closets, restaurants, they're all plural count nouns. So we use there are, there aren't. To make yes-no questions, we put the verb to be first. So we say, is there? The affirmative statement, there is. Yes-no question, question, is there? Affirmative statements, there are. Yes-no questions, are there? So, with the singular count noun, we say, is there a park near your condo? And the short answer, affirmative, yes, there is. Remember, in affirmative short answers, there are no contraction. Is there a bus stop near your condo? No, there isn't. Now with a plural count noun, we say, are there many stores near your condo? Yes, there are. Are there many pets in your building? No, there aren't. And with non-count nouns, we say, is there some food in the fridge? Yes, there is. 
no, there isn't. So for a yes, no question, we say, is there or are there? Let's learn to make information questions. So to make an information question, you need a question word. And after the question word, you have the verb to be, and then you have there. So let's take a look. With a singular count noun, we say, how often is there a fire drill? There is a fire drill once a month. Fire drill is singular, so we say is. How often is there a fire drill? With plural count noun, we say are. The verb is are. How many elevators are there in the building? There are six elevators. How many floors are there in the building? There are 40 floors. Elevators, floors are plural, count noun. So the verb is are. And the question word is how many. Remember, you need to put the noun after how many because we need to know what you are asking about. How many elevators? How many floors? How many swimming pools are there? And with a non-count noun, the verb is is, and you say, how much parking is there for visitors? There is a lot of parking for visitors. Remember, all non-count nouns are singular. So the verb to be is, is. How much parking is there for visitors? There is a lot of parking for visitors.